Okay guys, I got some new and exciting stuff in the mail today. I'm so excited. Um, I just got back from a trip. Um, just like a one day thing, me and my best friend um, <laughs> went to the cities for a quick trip and we had a naf naf. Naf Naf? I don't know how to say it. It's like this Middle Eastern fast food place that has the most amazing like Middle Eastern chicken shawarma rice bowls. If you guys live in a state that has a Naf Naf, you definitely have to let me know down below. I think it's mostly like East Coast. I don't think they have any West Coast locations. I think like Washington, Illinois, I don't know, I was Googling it, and New Jersey, I think they had <laughs> Naf Naf, so let me know if you live in a state with a Naf Naf. So, my skin right now, I lotioned it this morning, it definitely looks a little bit dry. Um, so, let's just like spray some of this Herbivore Rose Hibiscus Coconut Water Hydrating Face Mist. I don't want to put any oils on my face, because I... Don't know if that'll like interfere with the foundation I want to try out with you guys today. So, as most of you might know, my no buy like crashed and burned, but that's okay. I picked up some Juvia's Place foundation, and you guys, today I was so like living in La La Land, I actually missed the launch of the Juicy Olive palette, which was like my one pass in my whole no buy was the Juicy Olive and I totally miss that so I'm really hoping they bring that back but this is the packaging for the Juvia's Place Magic I Am Magic Velvet Matte Foundation. I had a really hard time trying to figure out what my color match would be so fingers crossed and then it's one fluid ounce and it says made in Italy and 24 month shelf life there's a little pita bunny on there directions apply product with a wet beauty sponge or a synthetic makeup brush with sweeping and mushing and buffing motions all over the face, full coverage. So yeah, cute. It's small. I like the little squeezy tube idea because you don't have to like mess around trying to get product out. So, ooh, this is really dark. Ooh, this might be like a summer shade. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Mm. Yeah. Oh, it's always old. <laughs> oh, maybe it'll like. Oh, and then I think I was watching. Was it Annette's makeup corner that said you don't need a whole lot of it? So, yeah, I only put that little pump, and it's definitely spreading. Definitely, like from what I can tell in the viewfinder, it looks a little yellow. But you know, it might work in the summer. <laughs> Oh, and this is the shade, um, does it say the shade name on the box, or where did I put the box, oh, this is the shade Rio 430, I mean, I love a good full coverage foundation, so, but you can clearly tell it's like a very yellow <laughs> undertone. And you guys, in case you're new to my channel, just so you know, I do list some of my like foundation matches in the description box. So if you're like wondering what my color matches are to foundations, you can find them down there. Okay, so it's definitely like the wrong color. I did also get Punta Cana, which is 435. I can't remember if this is like the more neutral because I wasn't sure. Oh god, I look so yellow. These are my life struggles, guys. I f oh, this is like a more neutral. I feel like I just squeezed out too much. Um, so maybe that'll help. Um, but yeah, I love like the description of this foundation because it's like a matte little coverage situation. Um, but yeah, I, like I said before, I had a tough time with my color match. And this, I mean, this isn't the only foundation that does this to me. It's so hard when it says yellow. Sometimes it's like really yellow. It's hard for me. I feel like my undertone is like more cool toned. Like a warm, even though I am tan. Because when I look at my veins, I swear I see um, blue veins, not red. <laughs> you see that? So yeah. Anyway. 
I did also get the concealer, so I'm hoping we can do some magic. So I got the shade 15, which I feel like is a little light. Um, but yeah, and you get a ton of product here. This is a 12 month shelf life made in USA, it says. And you get, oh, that's weird. The concealer says 12 and then the box says 24 months. That's a little weird. Um, 0.34 fluid ounces. It feels really hefty. <laughs> like, really freaking hefty. Okay. Ooh, that's light. And the, like, the foundation, definitely, like, matte. Like, because it's, like, definitely, like, Matt, Matt, Matt as Matt can be. Uh oh. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. Well, we're gonna have a really bright under eye. And that's okay. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Oh my gosh, my under eye looks freaking flawless. <laughs> I've been doing my eyes first lately, um, but back in the day I used to do my face first. Um, and I don't know why in this video I started with my foundation, but that's the way I was, wow. Holy moly, that was really, like really set. And like, it's not like creasing and stuff, which I like. So I'm gonna set it um, with my hourglass powder. It's just the one I've been using. I did see Julia's Place actually just today launched some powders. Um, so that's interesting. Like, did we know that was happening? Um, I didn't buy any because I'm not really on the hunt for powder. I have so many. So yeah, I'm not in the market for any right now. I feel like the concealer like saved it a little. I love how like flawless it looks um, in the mirror. My skin definitely looks dry, but I know usually I'll use more like a hydrating oil or something. So maybe it doesn't look as like life sucked out of my skin type deal. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, I'm like a full coverage girl. So I think this will be a really nice summer foundation. If you have oily skin, if you have dry skin, it's gonna be iffy. Like, I'm one of those dry skin girls that loves. I think I just got freaking brow powder on my nose. Um, I'm one of those dry skin girls that loves having a matte foundation on. But I know that's not for everyone. Some people love dewy. So, you know, I get it. And, uh, yeah. My brows need to get done, be get done again. So hopefully, I'll be able to do that this week. So yeah, this little trip I went on, I went with my friend. She actually had to attend a funeral in a city four hours from here, um, which is Minneapolis actually, um, in Minnesota. It's four hours from here. So she just asked me if I wanted to tag along, and I was like, sure thing. Um, so. I got to go and uh, it was really chill. Like I said, we ate at our favorite like little place to eat at and she went to her funeral and then came back and we just like hung out with one of her friends that lived there and she was like, do you want to go to the mall? And I was like, yeah, I could go to the mall, but you know me, I'm just going to spend money that I don't need to spend. Got all these expenses coming up. so. We didn't go and I was perfectly happy doing that. I also did pick up the Huda Beauty um, Tan Tour in the shade Medium. I can't decide if I like this product. I've worn it a few times. I feel like it kind of like wears off. I'm gonna use this Tarte brush. It's like very freaking pigmented as you guys can see. Uh, but I feel like once my makeup starts fading, it like fades away with my makeup. So I don't know if it's like my base that's like ruining it. I don't, you guys know I don't wear a lot of cream. Um, but, you know, I try to support Huda, so I, like, bought it. Um, so I love, like, the look it gives me initially, and I think it blends really nicely, but, like, oh my god, I think I just went overboard. It's okay, though. 
Um, so yeah, I can't make up my mind. Like I, I like it, but I don't know if I love it. And I also had mentioned like in my will I buy it, I was like, I'm kind of glad like somebody made something that other than like the tan de Chanel or whatever <laughs> product. Cause I was like, you know what? Like I wanted a cream bronzer and like the only one I could really think of that came in its own pot was that Chanel one. And that doesn't work with my skin tone. So like... I'm so happy that Huda came out with something and then I picked up this blush from Colourpop and it's called Tuned In. Where's my favorite blush brush in the whole world? Okay, here it is. <laughs> you guys know this. I love this for cream. Um, so it's super pigmented. I don't need a whole lot. And I just wanted to show you guys like, you know, some of the newer products I had in my collection. Um, and then I saw, oh my gosh, there's so many new things coming out. The new, um, Dior highlighting palette is out. And I kind of want to get it. But I don't really need it, you know. All of the things. And then we just saw the Aladdin movie. And I did pick up... Where's the highlighter? I had to pick up the bronzer and the highlighter. And once I saw the movie and, like... Will Smith was so good. I was so glad I bought the makeup. I almost wanted to buy the palette because Jasmine was so cute in the movie. Um, but I was like, okay, Karen, like you're being a little excessive. Like, just relax. Like, you don't have to buy all the things. Um, so I didn't buy that. And then I did end up buying some of the new products that ColourPop launched, those sticks. I bought a bundle and um, that's coming in the mail and I'm so glad um, I got the Blue Moon palette too. It was sold out as a single so I had to get like the lip gloss or whatever. So anyway, um, eyeshadow palette we're gonna use just arrived. I don't know if you guys are gonna know what this is because I didn't really talk about if I was gonna buy it on Instagram or not. I was kind of on the fence about it. And then it came up for pre-order or something and you could do like after pay on it and I was like well you know after pay is like a great motivator for me to buy stuff because it's like I can buy it I pay no extra amount and then I can um, you know pay it off in little chunks so here is what I got, little hint, and it came in the mail today, and it's like 9 o'clock at night when I'm filming this, but I thought it would be fun um, to get this video up. So the packaging is really beautiful, and it's the Ace Beauté Oceanic Palette, and I haven't used an Ace Beauté palette since they came out with the Paradise Collection. I skipped the flare because I hated the Paradise Collection so, so much, but a lot of people told me the formula was oh <laughs> was different so I was pretty pumped to try this and I do want to show you guys of course a comparison with the certify um, palette which I've also been using quite a bit I just got this recently um, so they're very similar but different, <laughs> obviously. So yeah, I'll definitely do swatches of the Certify palette. Um, but first let's, maybe, should I swatch this first? Or do, yeah, let's swatch first. So um, yeah, there's so many pretty shades. Oh my gosh. Let's start with Bora Bora. Ooh, that's pretty, it's like a periwinkle. And we have Jellyfish, Mykonos. Mm. These shimmers aren't swatching with as much oomph as I was expecting. Uh, and I still have some foundation on my hand from the foundation. But there's the first five shades. Okay, now the next five. We've got Bali, Fiji, um, Turtle, and then Marina and Bay. Ooh, Bay is pretty. Ooh, Bay is pretty too. Super pigmented. This green shade is kind of beautiful. It's like a forest green. Okay, and then I'm gonna swatch the last row. We've got 
uh, anemone, right? Algae, ooh, seaweed, seagrass, and lagoon, which is the blue. Soup's pretty. It's cold in my house. I got goosebumps. <laughs> So there is the whole palette swatched out. And I definitely uploaded like a certified like palette swatch party. But let me just, for the sake of this video, cause I know it's gonna be helpful to you guys if I swatch them next to each other. I'm just gonna swatch it quick on my arm. Okay, so here is the certify Affinity 2 palette and then this is the Ace Beauté um, Oceanic palette or whatever it's called. So definitely you get a little more variety in the Certify palette um, and I have three Certify palettes. I've only played with two of them, the Tropic Wonders and this one and I do love their, like their formula. I wouldn't say it's like a love, like definitely must have situation. Plus the other thing is you do have to buy this from overseas because this is the, a UK based makeup brand. So if you're kind of iffy about that, plus you know Ace Beauté has um, Afterpay which is nice. Um, but you're definitely getting more variety. Um, in the Affinity 2, but if your color story is like the blues, like you love the blues, I feel like, you know, just based off of swatches, you're still getting a good color story to work with with the Ace Beauté palette. So yeah, I mean, like there are definitely like similar shades. You see the greens and stuff, so I don't think you're like gonna be starving for shades. And I could see Ace Beauté um, having been kind of like influenced by the certified palette. I don't know for sure if they were, but I wouldn't be surprised if they were because these color stories are very, very, very similar. So I'll give you a minute to look at the palettes. I don't regret anything. I'm glad I have both. This one has 18 shades and then the Ace Beauté has 15 shades and the Ace Beauté also has a mirror. So if you're like into that kind of stuff, um, I can't remember the price points. Um, this isn't really like a comparison video. I just wanted to play with this palette. So if you're really curious about that, about all that information, I'm sure somebody's got a YouTube video out there doing all of that. Um, this is just like a playtime situation for me. So, but if you guys have any questions that I didn't answer here, feel free to leave me a comment and I will you know, respond to you with my responses. <laughs> respond to you with my responses. So I'm just trying to clean brushes because of course I never get to it. After I film, I just leave everything sitting here and uh, move on with my life. And then, you know, like right now I'm filming last minute. So I'm like, ooh, I need to clean brushes while I film this video and I usually use my Cinema Secrets and I don't think that's like the best thing for like Wayne Goss and Sonia G brushes but it's got to be better than like dunking them in water I feel um, but yeah the Cinema Secrets cleaner is pretty strong but yeah like I just used the taco palette and it's definitely like stained. <laughs> My brushes, oh my goodness. I am so unprepared at life sometimes. I don't even know, you guys. Okay, good enough. So what kind of look should I do? Do I do different eye? Oh, I haven't done that in a while. I could do a green look and a blue look. <sighs> Might involve more brushes, but that's okay. I really wanna play with this shade Seagrass. It's like that beautiful green. Okay, let's start with that maybe. So I'm gonna grab my Wayne Goss number 17. I don't I have I don't really have any primer on so just so you guys know. So you guys I have been just like doing so much soul searching recently on relationships because um somebody I know is going through some rough stuff in their relationship and I don't know, I just feel like I want to talk about relationships on my channel um, because I feel like I've had kind of like, you know, some life experiences and everyone has. And I was definitely one of those people before I met my husband that was like, I dated like every kind of guy I felt like and 
I was dating all these losers that I was meeting online and like I mean I <laughs> it was bad like I remember one time I went on a date with this guy and he literally messaged me before the date and he was like uh my card got stolen um so you know like that's rough but he still wanted to go on the date and then when we went on the date he didn't pay for my food which is fine but then he like paid for his food with change and like dollars and some change and then he like asked me if I had like tipped the waitress because he didn't have money for a tip and I was just like oh my god that's when you like just don't like go on a date like you just like save it for later you know what I mean and then I remember one time I went on a date with this guy and he literally like called me because we went on a date like the day like the first of January or something like that so he had gone out on New Year's and gotten drunk and then like forgot to or like didn't drive his car home so he didn't have a ride to get to his to get to our date and like he asked me to pick him up and I was like oh my god I'm about to get murdered like he turned out to be not so much of a loser bag but it's just like so interesting so I feel like I've definitely like you know paid my dues as far as like the dating world goes and like my number one advice to like any single person is just like you know you always like meet the one when you're not looking as hard like that was my experience and I feel like if you really analyze a lot of people's experience that's what it comes down to like you always meet the one when you're not like actively like looking and it's so funny because when I first when I first met my husband like I remember thinking like oh my gosh this guy is like way too nice for me I'm gonna chew him up spit him out and I'm gonna like break him and you know that's I think what most girls think when they're dating and like younger and I'm like you know what I learned my lesson I was so careful with my husband and like I didn't want to wreck anything by like us sleeping together too soon so like I would make sure like all our dates were like going to dinner and stuff like that and I definitely like made sure I like really liked him and was really comfortable with him before we like had him like spend the night and stuff because you know like when you think so like when you're attracted to somebody it's really hard to be like in control of your emotions like and especially like physical stuff so like I really I had had so many experiences where I'd been so interested in a guy and felt like I really liked them and then I like slept with them and then it was like over and I was like oh my gosh like you know so I was very much aware that if you progress things in that department you know guys some guys not all guys can be a little bit of pigs so you kind of have to be you know watch out for yourself too you can't just like give it away <laughs> and expect different results like if you if all you're doing is meeting somebody sleeping with them on like the first date second date third date and you expect a different result other than them maybe like not keeping in contact well like that was my experience so like I feel like I finally learned my lesson of like don't just like give it away like play not play hard to get but like play your cards right and don't like fall for somebody hard before um you know you've kind of like established that they're going to make an effort too so I don't know that was my experience and I think about it all the time when I hear people talk about like how hard it is to be single and it's like well are you trying to date like a nice guy like a guy that you know isn't playing hard to get and is you know emotionally available and like you know putting you first or are you chasing after a guy that doesn't reply to your text messages only comes around when he wants something has like a million excuses every time you need to want to hang out with them like you know right if somebody's treating you well or not so yeah I was just like so careful when I met Rel and he was just like such a nice guy and like I think of like how I told him I was like you're like too nice and I'm like yeah I sound like every other girl out there that's like you know I tried like dating all the like the badasses and like the good like not <laughs> like the edgy guys and like you know all these guys that were just like so wrong for me and like now I feel like 
I have Rail and he's smart, he is kind and considerate and like it's just so great how like I ended up with like honestly like a winner when I think about it. and like sometimes I like run into the guys I like used to date and I'm like ooh dodged a bullet there you know because <laughs> you know like looks kind of like fade and like there's so many other factors that should go into picking somebody that you're going to spend the rest of your life with um, so yeah, it's just always like interesting, like being 30 and like having been married for a few years. I'm like, wow, it's just so great. Like to see like where you end up. Cause like, I honestly, when I was like 25, I was like, I'm never going to meet somebody. Like I'm going to be single and alone forever. Everyone thinks I'm too sassy. And like, especially where I live, it's like, oh, am I too brown? Like, honestly, like I'm not even saying that to be like mean, but like, North Dakota is so predominantly white and I'm so like not everyone's cup of tea and I'm so outspoken um that I knew I'd rub people the wrong way and like I think some of the men that live here that are from here they just want like a girl that wants to settle down doesn't really want to like travel I mean I'm not saying this is very much a generalization and a stereotype so if you're from North Dakota like don't think I'm talking about you necessarily but that's kind of the stereotype that I felt was like everyone was just looking for like a nice quiet little girl like I always just felt too brown because I just knew I wasn't like the norm and even in college like I never really like dated a lot or anything like that because people wouldn't really give me the time of day or you know make the effort to really like get to know me and maybe I was shy too like I don't think it was just like everyone was like you know oh she's brown like profiling me but it's definitely hard for me to like date and like I had like one serious boyfriend in college um but yeah and then it's just yeah, I just always think, like, don't lose hope if you're, like, out there looking for somebody because you're going to find them when you least expect it. So, I actually don't really love this, like, based off of first impressions. Definitely reminds me, the shimmers definitely remind me of the old palettes, the Paradise Collection. I did end up putting this green shade, Mykonos, on the inner corner and then Bora Bora, like, on the rest of the lid. And it was okay. I didn't spray my brush or anything, but I like to do that. I like to try it without spraying my brush just to see what kind of pigmentation I can get from the situation. And then I'm just going to go in with this eye pencil from LA Girl. This is in the shade Electric. And then I'm just going to do some under the eye work. I'm just going to go in with my Sonia Precision Pro. And I maybe dip into this neon green shade called Algae. Just going to place that in the inner corner. Oh, that's really pigmented. That was kind of nice. It's hard to find like a pigmented neon, especially on my skin tone. <laughs> but you guys, my face makeup, like the... Um, Julia's place definitely feels very very dry <laughs> you're not gonna like this if you have dry skin I feel like I mean I like it I have dry skin but I love my coverage to be like you know so I like the under eye that's more vibrant I'm gonna spray this with some Mac Fix Plus just to give my foundation some shine oh my god it's like a drink of water and then also I did buy the Huda Beauty resting boss face spray but I'm not really going anywhere after this so I don't want to like spray that and then let me just do my eyelashes quick I don't have any new mascaras or anything to try out just gonna use my go-to combo of the moment Oh my gosh, by the way, so when we were visiting my best friend's friend in the uh, Minneapolis this weekend, she had the Moxie eyeliner. Do you guys know what that is? It's that eyeliner that has like uh, something in it that makes eye like magnetic eyelashes cling to it. Um, and she actually tried it out for us. She had ordered the set and it actually works. So I'm definitely considering getting that because I filmed a video because I bought like magnetic lashes these ones and I tried to put them on on camera and I got one of them on but then I ended up giving up because I was on the freaking struggle bus for like a good I don't know 40 minutes or so um so I was like no I'm done like I'm not 
trying the magnet lashes. Actually, I wanted to try the half lash because they do have a half lash option. So I might do that, but the ones I just showed you, I was like struggling and I was like, nope, mm -mm, this is not happening. Yeah, I didn't, um, I didn't end up filming with them on. But yeah, that Moxie stuff, it really worked for um, her friend. And so I was kind of excited about that because it's kind of cool, right? So for Lippy, I think I'm going to do something neutral um, because I don't want to overdo it. And I don't have any good Lippies around. So I do love the Ultra Blot. It's in the summertime. This is uh, ColourPop Zuma. And I love to have these on. Because these were like the perfect like popsicle lip last summer. And then my next favorite thing to do is the shade Dolly from Buxom. I would just take that and... Oh my god, I love this combos. Dolly is like the perfect Buxom lip gloss for tan girls. Uh, White Russian was too light for me, so... Yeah, isn't that like so cute for the summertime? Cause yeah, this is it. This is the finished look. And yeah, I just had so much fun playing with a bunch of new product. Again, swatches, I need to take those off. But overall, my thoughts, Juvia's Place Foundation. I feel like the shade turned out okay. Like the concealer saved it and I want to try the neutral shade. And I think the shade Rio was a little too um, warm for my skin tone right now. I think in the summer, once I get a little more tan, spend a little more time outside, it should work out for me better. I liked the concealer. It's so dry, you guys. <laughs> like, it is not budging. So that's good for the summertime for you guys. If you get really oily, you're probably gonna like that. Eyeshadow palette was okay. I'm not like madly impressed with it. I do like this eye look, um, but I don't think the shimmers were easy to work with. They might be better if I use a glitter glue or foil them, but I just wanted to try it out without all of that stuff. So that was uh, maybe the foundation I like a little more. So I'll give the foundation like a seven. Eyeshadow palette's more like a four but we'll work with it. I just wanted to film a quick video, kind of show you guys some of this new stuff I just picked up. So yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. Did you buy any of this stuff? Or if so, are you passing? Let me know why. Leave me all the deets down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in my next video soon. Bye guys.